What is up, my friends? So there's been an, an announcement today that Disney Plus might be having dinosaurs on their streaming platform this fall. And if you're wondering what the hell is dinosaurs, well, as you can see, it's a show based on dinosaurs. And right now, you are probably thinking, why the hell would I watch this show? So before I get into the ending, and you're probably wondering why are you talking about the ending already? I just want to talk about it because it came all to, back to me. I was like. Wait, I remember watching this show. I went back and I rewatched the ending. And I was like, yes, it all came back and I need to talk about that ending. So before I get into it, um, I'm just going to ask you, can you go ahead and subscribe to the channel? Give this video a thumbs up and turn on the bell for notifications because we're here to dissect all the things you love in pop culture. And we're going to talk about this ending now. So I'm going to be talking about the ending because I think it's a very important ending. I'm not sure if it really takes away from the show or if it makes you watch the show in a different light now that you know the ending and you see everything that happens but I'm just gonna go ahead and get to it because I think it is definitely the most depressing ending of any TV show maybe even movie out there and it really hits home about what's going on with us as a society and I am gonna get deep into it sort of so the show basically follows a family of dinosaurs and the family of dinosaurs go through different things in their life and I'll probably make a video talking about all these these different issues that this raises and it's sort of like Bojack Horseman in a way where you have these very serious issues that are presented to you with non-humans so it's kind of easier to get to them but once you look back and realize what they were talking about you realize how deep they get with it just like Bojack Horseman does now the series finale is pretty much one that hits hard and it hits very very hard so what happens is one day when the family is out having a picnic they realize that the Beatles that they were going to be uh, watching return don't show up and they're pretty much like we don't know what's going on but let's find out what's going on right so we pretty much get hints here and there that what happened was after the dinosaurs created a factory which was uh, breeding uh, plastic and all of that and were taking over the ground of it and pretty much just destroying everything that they could in order to raise profits that's what pretty much led to the Beatles disappearing and what they realized is that the Beatles played a very important uh, role in their ecosystem because they would feed on climbing vine. What happens now is everything just starts growing out of control and the vines are everywhere. So they have to pretty much figure out what can we do now to fix all of this because this ain't going to work. So what they do is they are going to poison it. And what happens when they poison that is not only does it affect the vines but it affects all of the plants in the ecosystem and so now you try to solve a problem but you created even bigger problems now and now they have to figure out what can they do next and so with dying plants the only logical thing that they can think to do is to pretty much create rain now these are dinosaurs but they are also smart so they pretty much are like we have to create rain clouds that come up with that but there's no way for them to actually create rain clouds. So what they decide to do is to make rain clouds by dropping bombs into the volcanoes around the planet. Now, I'm already thinking this is not going to go anywhere like good, right? Nah, it don't. Because what happens is that the clouds actually bring in snow and we see a cooling start to happen and pretty much everything freezes and welcome to the ice age, right? And so now... The family is like, damn, this is it. There's nothing coming back from this because we realize that this is going to be an ice age that's going to last for many, 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 many millions of years, right? So it's just a very depressing ending when it gets to it because, I mean, dinosaurs, of course, you know, lived in extreme heat um, environments. So... An ice age ain't gonna do it. It's gonna be good for the saber tubes and the mammoths that will come millions of years later, but not for the dinosaurs. And what we see is the family pretty much accept what is going on to them and talk about them being together. And the head of the family is pretty much like, this is all my fault. We had this one earth, we could have protected it. But we were so caught up with trying to advance everything and trying to um, get technology 
like fast forward with it and everything that we pretty much took all the resources here and now we don't have anything left and it was pretty much sort of talking about how greed and all of that really can blind you into going in a direction and you pretty much look back after it and you see that you have nothing left and pretty much you're just like i have all the money in the world now but i don't have a place to be and i thought that that was a very uh good way for this series to end and a very much so tyke on society and how we pretty much accelerate ourselves all the way and yeah we have all of this industrial and we have all of these systems that are working good and all but what is happening with the earth what is happening with pollution what is happening with everything around us is something that we don't think about and you can say that the beetles are pretty much like the bees and how important the bees are for our um, society and us being able to keep up with farming as well and imagine something like the bees going missing we've already known that can be catastrophic for our environment so yeah i think that even after the series ended in 1994 which was like what 26 years late, later now today that same show ending is still very much so a commentary on our society today and it's kind of scary that we don't really learn from it yet especially when you look around with things going on and i don't know i just thought it's pretty awesome that this show is coming back so maybe more people can see exactly i mean they did a lot of social commentary on this show of course as well which maybe i'll talk about once the show starts to be released on disney plus later this fall but i just wanted to talk about that ending because i think it's a very important ending and one that needs to be talked about more because it's kind of a warning of what can come and i'll be it that we have um cut down on a lot of things but I think there's still room for us to go into um, making sure that what we're doing isn't affecting the world we're living in because Mars sounds cool and all, but let's face it, we have to protect what we have as well. So that's just my thoughts on the ending and how deep and impactful it still is 26 years later. Let me know if you've ever watched this show or if you're looking forward to watching it, as I said. I remember this show, I remember the ending, so I wanted to look back into it and talk about it, but I definitely am excited when the show comes out this fall to rewatch it and relive some of those episodes. And so I pass the question on to you now, as I like to do now, because I love seeing community responses. I love seeing comments, people responding to one another, and it just makes me um, think of new ideas that I hadn't thought before. So this is why I love doing this part of the videos is what do you think about this ending and how bleak and how dark it is and pretty much how it is still so much a relevant message in today's world and what we can learn from this let me know in the comments below and are you going to be checking out this show once it returns on disney plus later this fall were you a fan of it back then i i don't know i kept seeing it during reruns back in the day and i gotta tell you I'm a fan of it. I cannot wait to see where this goes in the future, whether they would be able to sort of bring it back because I think there's still a lot to be told with this show. And so I'm excited for whatever they do with it. So let me know your thoughts about it below. But anyways, what other show would you love to see come back on Disney Plus that might not be on there? Um, it can be a show from the past. It can be a show like from the 80s, the 70s, even like, 2000s it doesn't have to be that old let me know in the comments below what you like to see i'm going to be making a video of some stuff that i would want to see on disney plus that i haven't seen be on there yet and i think i'll release that video sometime this week anyways make sure you tune in because i'm going to be having a video on the order coming up to night maybe and then i'll also have a video on dark by tomorrow before the premieres of those shows so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you know when those drop. And also, as always, let me know what you're watching currently, what you're binging. I always like to take in recommendations because, I mean, come on. We just got to be uh, looking out there and seeing what's good to recommend. So Last of Us 2 comes out this week. I am super pumped for that. We'll be playing it. We'll be talking about it. Make sure you're subscribed. And as always, that's going to do it for me. I'll see all of you next time. Stay positive.
hey if you're still watching why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and as always stay safe stay positive